Round of applause for 2016 World Brewers Cup finalist number four, Tetsu Kasuya, Brewers Cup champion of Japan. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Are you ready? Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Time. Hello, judges. Welcome. I'm Tetsu from the coffee factory in Ibaraki, Japan. It's an honor to brew coffee for you today. I'll be doing my best, so I hope you enjoy the 10 minutes as much as I do. I'm not a farmer, and I'm not a roaster. I'm just a barista and a brewer. So my passion has been searching and learning the different brew method. And finally, I found the best brew method, the 4-6 method. The board has information of the coffee farm and the detail of the 4-6 method. Here you are. Here you are. OK. My search for this new brew method began when I went to visit the coffee farm at 90 plus coffee. At the farm, you could tell the pickers were not working just to be paid. They were very passionate and very proud of their work. I could see this came from Joseph, the owner of 90 plus coffee, who always showed passion for coffee and affection to his workers. I was so impressed by their passion. So right then, on the farm, I saw the need to reflect that passion by finding the best brew method as a barista. Now, today, I'd like to serve you the best brew cup by using the 4-6 method. The 4-6 method begins by dividing the total water into 40% and 60%. You pour the first 40% in two pours, and then decide how many pours you want to make for the last 60%. The first two pours decide the balance of the acidity and the sweetness. The remaining number of pours will decide the strength of the coffee. That's it. It's so simple, isn't it? Okay. Today, I'm using this very special coffee. This is natural process geisha from 90 plus geisha estates in Panama. The devotion to hand picking and processing coffee gives this many colorful flavors. And today, I will make this coffee more excellent by brewing. My recipe is 20 grams of coffee to 300 grams of 92 degrees water. The grind is a coarse grind to get a clean cup and a bright flavors out of this coffee. The water is a pure water that is 0.3 ppm and the pH is 6.6. .6. This makes the acidity bright, clean, and juicy. And the mouthfeel becomes smooth and juicy. Since I'm using 300 grams of water, so the first two pours will be 120 grams here. OK? Now, judges. Let's actually go on to the brewing. Okay. Today, I use the 50 grams in the first pour. The amount of the water in the first and the second pour decides acidity and sweetness of the final cup. If I use more water in the first pour, the acidity will be stronger. But if I use less water in the first pour, the overall sweetness will be stronger. Today, to get more sweetness out of this coffee, I use less water in the first pour, 50 grams. And now, second pour. I pour 
the remaining 70 grams. By pouring more water in the second pour, the sweetness stands out more. In this method, I start each pour after all the liquid has dripped down into the decanter. Why? Because this timing makes the extraction efficiency very high and also increases the brew strength for coarse grind coffee, like this. Okay. And now, third pour. From third pour and onwards, the total number of pours will change the brew strength. If we want it higher, make more pours. And if we want it lower, make fewer. If the grind is coarse like today, the coffee usually becomes weak. But today, I'm aiming for 1.3 TDS, so I will make three more pours. 180 grams divided into three pours, so that's 60 grams each pour. And just continue to pour, that's all. This brew method makes the coffee super clean, bright, sweet, and a powerful coffee. Okay, the other side. Here, yeah, test notes. Yes, okay. The aromas. You can find peach and black cherry. The flavors, you can find peach and blackberry when it's hot. And when it cools down, you can find strawberry and pineapple. The aftertaste is a very long and very sweet. It changes from strawberry to cacao. I think a truly great coffee is the one that has lingering sweetness. This is that coffee. The acidity is bright, clean, juicy, with fruity sweetness like strawberry and pineapple. The body is medium and juicy. It becomes smooth as it cools down. Okay. And it's so well balanced and round like a fruity sweetness, gently enveloping a good acidity. And overall, this is a super clean coffee with complex flavors, with unique quality of improving as it cools down. The balance of the acidity and the sweetness is a perfect in this coffee. Okay. Just a moment, please. Okay. Here you are. Enjoy. Here you are. Please enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you.
Okay, judges. How did you like my coffee? I'm not a roaster and I'm not a farmer. I am a barista and a brewer. So, I will continue to pour my passion into brewing. I'm so happy and honored to brew coffee for you all today. I'd like to say thank you to you, the judges, and everyone in the audience, and of course, everyone who has been supporting me. Thank you very much. Time. Tetsu Katsuya, Brewers Cup champion of Japan. Come on over. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. This is your first year competing at Brewers Cup? No, in Japan, it's the third. third. Third year, but first time at World Championship? Ah, uh, no, it's the first time. First time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, first time, obviously, in the final round. So, how do you feel today? Oh, uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah? Uh, like in dream. <laughs> Can I ask a question? So, when you served the judges in the cups, hmm? you poured one, two, three, and then a oh. little bit more, a little bit more. Why? Mm. Because that coffee will be sweet when it cools down. Mm -hmm. So I, I cool the coffee. It's yes. To help it cool down? Yes, yes. Very, very good. You, and you talked about your brew method. You called it? Four, six method. Four, six. Can you explain that again? Uh, divide the total water into 40% and 60%. Okay. And the first 40% will be this will decide the balance of the acidity and the sweetness, and last 60% will decide the brew strength. It's simple method, but perfect balance. <laughs> Were you able to work with your roaster in terms of different roasts, or did you just have one to choose from? Uh, my boss lost my coffee, mm -hmm. and. The coffee is from him, Joseph, the owner of 90 Plus Coffee. <laughs> nice guy. <laughs> nice guy. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Anything you'd like to say to anyone here, your supporters, people watching online? Uh, all of us, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I really appreciate all of you. Mm. Thank you very much. Really exciting. <laughs> it's very clearly very exciting. It was exciting to watch your presentation. It was great. Thank Congratulations. You. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Brewers Cup champion <laughs> of Japan, Tetsu Katsuya. <coughs> and we have two more presenters left, two more Barista Cup, uh, Brewers Cup champions left to go. And this is the 2016 Brewers Cup finals round. We'll be back in a couple minutes with